Okay then YouTubers, it's Wednesday 25th of May. I've not done any videos for a little while but I'm back and it could be better, it could be worse, I'm not sure. So I was having a bit of a physics dream this morning um, and it's kind of like a bit of a chemistry thing. So I do a little experiment where um, you take some iodine and you sublime it and it makes like a Christmas bauble. But then I was thinking actually, what about, how does that work with a plasma ball? And then I was also thinking, how does a plasma ball work with LEDs as well? I've never tried that. So it, it's sort of a double video. So if one thing fails, we might try the other. So standard plasma ball, we all know they're lots of fun. I'm grounding myself, out shocking all the rest of it. Candle. Now, I'm gonna take my round bottom flask with iodine, standard iodine. And I've got a um, bung in the top, so I'm not going to heat it too much. And I just want to warm the iodine enough to sublime it. So these round bottom flasks are quite cool. Let's just get it a little bit warmer. I don't really want to end it with iodine stuck to the bottom. What I'm looking for is I just wanted a bit of gas inside that was purple. I'm not sure it's going to do what I want because actually, if you think about a plasma ball, it's got a bit of a low pressure in there. So it has got gas, but it's at a slightly lower pressure. And that's how the electrons actually manage to work their way all the way through to the glass on the outside. So are we getting any purple yet? Maybe a little bit of purple. Let's see, are we? Yeah, a little bit more. What I'm gonna to have to do is polish the ball in a minute. So I'm just trying not to get too much heat to one area, otherwise you just tend to get a burnt sort of bit on the bottom. And we should get it to just sublime a little bit. I just want a little bit of purple in there. I think we're there now. So we just um, take a bit of this black stuff off the outside. We've got a bit of a carbon issue at the moment. And so hopefully you can now see a slight purple tinge to my round bottom flask. Okay, now my question is, let's just move my candle out of the way. There we go. Now I'm gonna move my dome in. Let's see what happens now then. So I'm going to bring my round bottom flask near to the plasma ball. Do we get anything? Do we get any gas excitation? Not a lot happening there, is there? I wondered if we might get a bit of transmittance through the air. Nope, not at all. Nothing. All I'm seeing is my lovely iodine round bottom flask. So... Why would that be? What did I say earlier on in the video? What was I talking about? That the plasma ball in here, there's a massively high potential difference on the dome in the middle, and I'm grounding it here, and that makes the difference to make it conduct through the gas. But unfortunately, when we've got this glass outer piece here, the difference is not enough between me and ground now, so I could be holding it here to actually make it conduct. So. There's a little bit of evidence, I suppose, on why you need a low pressure gas to manage to get excitation in that way. And that's what typically all the physics textbooks would tell you. And there's a little bit of proof. So now I thought this would be a fail, although it's kind of exciting with the lovely bauble, but we can try something else that's a little bit cool. Okay, now this I know works. It's very, very simple. So let's have a look. I've got a red LED and I'm just gonna touch one of the legs onto the plasma ball. You should be able to see, there you go. It's actually turning on, isn't it? Now what's really exciting is, is that even if I turn it around the other way, so we've got the other leg, it still lights up. So I can make an LED light up, not particularly very bright. But there you go, it's definitely lighting up. So there's enough potential difference to cause a current to flow. And on the other one, let's try the other one. Again, it just, just switches on a little bit, just enough for us to see. And we'll try the other way. Here we go. And the LED goes on. So that's when you can try at home and should work with a little LED bulb. It clearly works with, a, you know, the long fluorescent lamps, the com compact fluorescent lamp tubes as well. So there you go. So little video looking at LEDs, which is quite cool. And plasma balls, they do work. And pretty clearly my... Uh, my round bottom flask does not. We might though see something exciting. Let's see if I can show it, I don't know. Have I got, so I had sublimation. Let's see if we can get the sublimation. And 
No, not really. There's not enough there. So there you go. A little video from Animated Science.